Hello. Hello guys and welcome to the second episode ever in the Wii Universe in 2K WWE 2K22 Wii Universe is on the way NXT is still our show and wow what a banger of an episode the first slash last one was so much storytelling so many incredible so many more so many things happened in such in, su in just one episode of the series so i hope you stay tuned with it with me here tonight in the second episode ever the crowd is ready i'm hyped and you hopefully you are as well because this will be a banger of a show Last week didn't really t turned out the way I saw the wood. I was hitting my promo in the backstage area and then I got attacked in the back of the head with a steel chair. And and honestly, I didn't know what hit me last week. I needed I wa I wait I I awake in the hospital bed. And I was wondering what the hell happened to me? What the hell happened? Wasn't I supposed to have my debut? And then I put on I after I finally finally went home. I watched NXT and I see me getting assaulted, not just with a steel chair with a hockey stick, me getting slammed to a table, got tossed off the stage. Trying to bore each other to death? Yeah. Got Definitely. put up on the table before Roddy swung the cruiserweight champion. Jumped down off the stage, threw me to the table with an elbow drop. And then, well, he hit me with so many end of heartaches. That he almost Jeffrey. broke my back. I before I went, before, like I said, I was brought to the hospital. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't appreciate that one bit. Like I said, this right here, standing in this ring, having yeah, another yeah, promo. Yeah. This is my dream, but it's just not just my dream of being talking on the mic. No, my dream is to step in the ring and hard hitting action. But last week wasn't what I had in mind because it was just an unfair, a cowardly assault by Roderick, St Roderick Strong. And Roddy, I don't know how stupid you are because. To me, it's very, very not. It's very, very stupid when you attack someone who you don't even know at all. Roddy, you have no idea who the hell I am and what I'm all about. So this was a very, very stupid mistake. And trust me when I tell you, last week didn't trigger anything. It didn't trigger my emotions. It didn't trigger my actions. It didn't trigger anything because I'm always in full control of my emotions and my actions as well. But that doesn't mean that I let it slide. You tried to get to you tried to take that dream away from me. You tried to put me down. You tried to end my career here at NXT before it even started. And now like Isaac Newton said, for every action, there's a reaction. And that reaction is simple. Last week, you didn't give me any option, but this week, I give you two. So, Roddy, you either choose to get your ass out of here and face me in a match. I'm where we know, I consider myself as a specialist, a match what I consider as mine under extreme rules and fight, le fight me like a real man where everything goes because that's what you wanted, you want to use objects 
Well, I gave you the opportunity in, in this option. Option two, well, it's not much of an option. It's, all mind games right now, it's rather me getting back there and drag your sorry ass out to this wing and give you the beating that you have co in common for what you did to me last week. A stupid ref is out here. So what is it going to be? Do I have the guts to fight me like a man? Or do you make me come back there and drag you out of here? And now we will find out if Roddy actually has the guts. Rush is looking at it. But that's that's not the music of Roderick Strong, it's the music of Cameron Grimes. What the hell does he make out here? Sasha let out a challenge for Roderick Strong for his this assault from Roddy on Sasha before Sasha was about making a debut last week. Roddy spoiled this and now we have Gr Cameron Grimes facing Sasha instead of Roderick Strong. What the hell's going on here? I don't get that. So it seems like this is official. Zasha was coming Grimes, but what's that for a match? This is a normal match, an extreme rules match. What the hell is this? Does what does Cameron Grimes take the spot of what is strong? Because he answers his challenge. Or what is this all about? What is this all about? What has Cameron Grimes to do with the issue with Roderick Strong and Zasha? Like I said last week, Zasha was about hitting a promo in the backstage area. And then out of nowhere, for God knows what reason, Roderick Strong attacked him from behind with a vicious assault with a steel chair. And uh, that wasn't all of it. Like Sasha said, he slammed him, he hit him with a hockey stick, he put him to a table, and then he threw him off the stage. He put him on the front of the table, jumped out of the stage, to them with an elbow drop. Then he also jumped off a crate, off a crate with Sasha with a chair in the, in the face. And uh, then also he had so many end of heartaches that they almost broke Sasha's back. Sasha then led to a hospital. And now with this match, for some reasons, Wadi doesn't answer the challenge. It's Cameron Grimes, but what a move by Grimes. But Sasha with the reversal here. Tag and force they go in the early goals here. What a uh, face pass and knee smash by Sasha in his first ever match in NXT against Cameron Grimes. To surprise of everybody. Shove it to the back. Miss with the punch, but not with the knee. But what's this? What is this? It's what he's strong. That son of a bitch. What does he make out of here? Instead of answering the challenge, he literally has a distraction. Sasha from behind. Cameron Grimes roll up. Will this be enough to put Sasha away? One, two, three. It is. No, it's not. It's not. He barely kicked out. Almost ended indeed. Byron. But Sasha hit Grimes with a knee. But look at this reversal with kicks to the right leg of Sasha. But Sasha with the reversal. But on which shape is he after the hospital visit last week? What a meteora though. As Sasha looking to fly, the crowd is excited to see this. 630! Wow! And now look at the storms on every body part, much like his role model Randy Orton. On every body part. And look at Sasha, he's focused, he's very focused, another knee to see Grimes' face. To the richest man of NXT. Might get some bruises here. What a pillow kick after the road to there. From Sasha. On Cameron Grimes picking him up. Hit him with the knee yet again. And Sasha now celebrating. And now very impressive so far. Looking for the Kinshasa. Most likely done by Nakamura. By the King of Strong. Sorry, but now by Sasha as well. Well, two another Pele kick. Tech the second time it hits tonight. And Sasha's first ever match, like I said already. As Sasha, look how he goes like a house of fire. Got Grimes up on the apron. What does he plant? I don't know. Punch to the face. We all know how Sasha feels at Grimes entering instead of Roddy. Because the challenge was for Roderick Strong only, I think. 
not for Grimes as Sasha missed with shoulder attack. Maybe it's too angry at Wadi. And now looking at see Grimes as Sasha. Much like Wendy Orton does. Get ready to swipe. But Grimes on the outside. What has Sasha? Might suicide dive. Sasha goes flying. And hits everything in this. I don't know what kind of match this is. I think it's an. Or it, it, is this even a match? I don't know. As Grimes got swept into the barricade with so much force. And yet again, but this time Grimes escaped. This time smart. This time Grimes was one step ahead of Zasha. As Zasha's on the apron running away from Grimes, but Grimes hit with a punch there in the face. But Zasha with the reversal. Goes back inside the ring and got hit with a hand, uh, with a right there from Grimes. Zasha hits Mediora again though. He hits it again, climbing to the top rope. And 6 30 Yes, 6 30 indeed, Byron. That's now Zasha, what has he in mind? I don't know. Maybe he's confused. What, what to do now? Is now looking, but still looking impressive in this debut here. What a standing for 50 splash indeed there. Yeah, indeed. I agree with you. And what's Sasha looking for some objects? His best friend is baseball bat. He uses it on Cameron Grimes. Keeps it swinging as he's using it quite try to avoid it but there's no way avoiding it another stomps on every body part yet again there but it's all legalized thing I, 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 if that even is a match I don't know if that counts as a match maybe it's an unsanctioned match I don't know what that is but maybe it is the extreme rules match Sasha won it with Wadi but Grimes answered the challenge for some reasons as Wadi tried to distract Sasha but it didn't pay off the way Wadi thought it would as Grimes tried to get back in this match somehow some way but there's no way inverted DDT from Sasha and now stomp on every body part yet again wow as Grimes is beating he's down and out but knee reverse though from Grimes Grimes now picking him up what a power slam on the baseball bat almost or was it though hit him with a kick though but Sasha picking himself back up Bulldog and look at the cheers from the crowd though as Sasha climbed to the top looking for 6 30 and I think I don't know if Grimes is even we even get in this match. It doesn't look good for him though, but Sasha seems to have been all focused already. Hit him in the corner. With beautiful move right there, indeed. And now the other storms on everybody, but maybe it's favorite move. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I think the knee strikes are though. And Sasha picking one up, hitting him with another knee. Brutal and vicious. Hit him with a baseball bat. But Gwent escapes for a moment. But he couldn't splash him though. He missed there. With something. He got hit in the head with baseball bat. But he retaliates this time. And Sasha hit with the back. The broken back perhaps. Almost broken back as he said. Because of what Roddy did to him last week. With the end of Hardix and the toss of the stage. Put to the table. So Sasha spots it open I think. Yes he is. By the hit from Grimes there as Grimes uploads in anger. But both men misses with widely here. But Sasha picks Grimes up. Hit him with something. Oh, whoa, two. Yet again, another penitent. So time is a charm, Byron. As Corey Grace would say. As Sasha Anaconda Vice, he mentioned it in his promo. It's a signature maneuver. Will Grimes tab out to this vicious move? Will Grimes tab out? But Sasha let go, I think. I think Sasha let, let, let go here of Grimes. As Sasha looking for the punt kick to punt him in the skull. He did it. And Grimes has to be done. And out Sasha in the cover. It has to be enough, has it? One, two, three, it's over. No, it's not. Grimes kick out some more. Sasha discussing with the official. He can't believe it. I can't believe it either. As Sasha climbing to the top, bloody hell or not, he's looking for the Stotz look to finish off Grimes and he delivered with the Stotz look with it, this other finishing maneuver. Will this be enough? One, two, three, it is, it is, Sasha wins it in impressive fashion. 
He, f he just defeated one of NXT finest. Look at this. The hits with the baseball bat. Even though there were better ones which actually hit. And what's that in the replay for? Did the Anaconda Whites with Sasha, Sasha let go? Do we have the punt kick? Yes, we have. Look at this punt there. And then the Storz with both of his finishing maneuver after Anaconda Weiss's signature maneuver. And he wins this match. And he celebrates. And he deserves it. He defeated one of NX the best we have here in NXT without any problem whatsoever. That was an impressive win right there in his debut match. Even though he's busted open, even though he's not at 100% after what Wadi did last week. But that maybe motivated him even more here tonight and lead to one hell of a victory. Wow. But that was just the beginning of our show here tonight. And Shake Big Slash offered Walter Shuket to the surprise of everybody. I've never seen anything li of him like this. So what's with Walter? Is there a change between him and the rest of, P rest of Imperium? Because what we saw what Wolf and uh, Batan and Eichner haven't changed, but Walter might have. Who knows? But there they are. A brutal army of mat technicians. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Dresden, Germany. Weighing in at 245 pounds. From one German competitor to another, from Sasha to Alexander Wolf. Wow, the Germans are all over the place here tonight. <laughs> Same about Battels, also from Germany, I think. I don't know about Eichner, though, where he's from, to be honest. But Walter's from Austria, so the European connection here. And then full charge also last week Bartel and Eichner had a huge tag team match where they lost to the surprise of everyone despite every shenanigans by uh, them and Wolf they lost to Blue Falcon and Clark who are a new tag team here debuted last week and defeated our current NXT tag team champion so hopefully they get the title shot anytime soon they deserved it in my opinion I mean they defeated the champ so so they should get a title match at the next pay-per-view, in my opinion. Maybe they get it, maybe they don't. I'm not the GM here, so... And we have any, no information on that. But there comes Swerve, and this is his house. Oh, this is gonna be but for how long, huh? Yes. That's Welcome a question. House. And his opponent from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 201 pounds. The NXT North American Champion, Isaiah He's soon. <laughs> He's swerving down to the ring as the NXT North American Champion. And look how relaxed he looks. He looks like it doesn't matter anything could, uh, you know, stop his mood, you know. Can get the mood off him, you know. He's always chilling, always relaxing, always in the mood for a party. That's what it looks like. From Swerve here, but maybe not the right attitude to face someone like Alexander Wolf, but we find it out in the mere moments here. Swerve's house, the fans are chanting as well here. Swerve now calling for the bar matches finally underway as Alexander Wolf with a neck break on Swerve as Walter celebrates. What the hell is with Walter in these past days? A dropkick there. Oh, look at this swerve with the reversal, though. The champion. Look at what he does best. Fly, flying springboard splash. It's perfectly sending double foot stomp. Another stomp there. And look at this there. Moonsault in the corner there. As Wolf retaliates. As Swerve tried to fly, but nobody home as Wolf escaped. High flying then paid off in the last part. Here's Walter taking a closer look. And Wolf and Swerve there. As Wolf got the better of him, hitting him head first against the announce table after tossing him against it, tossing him into the steel steps as well. And now going back inside the ring, which leads to Battelle and Walter 
ganging up on Swerve clothesline though from Bartel. Water didn't hit him. Water didn't do anything wrong here. But Bartel does. One half of our tag team champions, and so the other half of the tag team champions. And Fabian Eichner also getting involved. Look at the power bomb on the Ch NXT North American champion. Oh, come on. Much of the disliking of the crowd, but the weapon sounded out. There's not uh, anything can do about it. Because Walter doesn't stop his minions here. Dropkick to the back of the official here. When Imperium stomping a mud hole on the NXT North American champion. But he defending himself. He tries to. Defend on himself against a numbers game here, but Wolf yet again another kick to the poor official. So in Brainbuster they're coming from Eichner on the outside there. But Wolf continues on the attack on the official as he perhaps realized that his Imperium made on fin finish with the assault on Swerve there. Now the punches from Bartel on Swerve, the numbers game from Imperium. Yeah, enough already indeed, but there's not nothing anyone can do about it. Now there he comes, the last participant in the family in the uh, fam uh, legendary and uh, hard family dungeon. There we participated. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 248 pounds. The but who knows what will happen here tonight with Masked Man seem very happy, very excited to step into the ring again and the fans are happy to see him as well, they're so excited to see him in action he can be, he's a fan favorite already and it's just a second appearance here a second match, a second appearance can't wait to see what we have in store for this young man here and look, and there they come. Got booed despite the m happy music. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Oni Lorcan. Oni Lorcan is his opponent here tonight. Last week it was Danny Birch. Now it's Oni Lorcan and Pete Dunne, of course, accompanying them. Yeah. Wow. No, NXT chance, and I'm pretty sure that Massman, Massman, Massman chance there are uh, uh, there as well. We have no call for the bad match on the way. What an uppercut for a Lorcan there. As Pete Dunn looking on. Get this neck breaker from Lorcan. It's done. Looking for an optic and you need to wing, that's not a notice qualification match. Careful there. I see I'm got attacked by Lorcan there. It's done. It's done. We're tossing a chant to the wing, the ref didn't realize. It's only got attacked on the arm by Massman, eh? As Birch with the distraction at the ref ejecting the shadow, ref not falling for anything. As only Logan tried to take advantage, but Matchman was ready for it, but not for that distraction though. Logan lifting him up, sitting power bomb. Whoa! Huge impact there from uh, the power bomb and the stomp on the leg there as well. It's done. Isn't done looking for objects, uh, uh, so to speak. Well, uh, locking with the attack on Mask Man. It's done now. Entering the ring. Attacking the official there. No, no, no. Don't break the ref's arm. Well, uh, Locken doesn't see a chair to Mask Man, but Mask Man tried to escape from it, but he can't. Numbers game here. For the suplex there from. Lock into Mask Man, doing a chair suit advantage there. Ref then saw it, but ref back to his feet, and he ejects Pete Dunn. He ejects Pete Dunn. Locken can't believe it. Locken tried to discuss this with the official. There's another ref trying to eject the chair. Locken still 
trying to plead with the official, I think. But mass ma it, it allowed Massman to recover. And being back, coming back in this match, huge mistake there by Lorcan. Hopefully Maskman may come back, but the distraction from Birch, it's still two versus one here. Look at the punches there from Lorcan. And the backbreaker to the disliking of the crowd. But Massman retaliates with a strike. Come on, get back in this thing, lifting him up. What does he mind? Got another distraction attempt from Danny Birch here. And Massman didn't fall for it this time. Elbow dropped though from Massman. As Birch trying to distract Massman, you know, his teammate needs every help he can get. And so he does what a head scissor there for Moni Lorcan. They're taking down Massman, but just for a moment there, on Lorcan misses. Only misses, but not Masma with the snake eyes. As Birch tried to distract him one more time, but then paid off. The distance is too much for it, I think. Or maybe not O'Connor Wall. Pele kick for Masman. And Birch tried to distract Masman, didn't pay off the kicks there. And the ref, the, the ref ejected Danny Birch. Wow, this is big news here. But well, Lockin tried to get back in this thing, but Masman looking for Butterfly. DDT, what a future shock there! As Lorcan tried to escape, Massman celebrates with his fans, lead to an uppercut. Huge mistake by the newcomer, but can he get the victory in the second ever match? Look at the shops there from only Lorcan, relentless and other punches as well here on Mask Man. Couldn't get enough of this, so as Lorcan and for something big, power pop again. Wow. Huge power there from Lorcan is his power bomb. And another one coming, I think. Yes. Maybe his favorite move here from Oni. Oni with another stomp. Oni going for the top, trying to fly. First time he gets cheered from the crowd. What a splash there from Oni. It's Oni lifting him up. Oh, that was right there from Oni. But Massman answers with a schoolboy and a super kick. Wow. And the cover he goes with speed enough to put Lorcan away. One, two, three it is. Massman wins it. With a signature maneuver. Wow. What well, a highlight wheel. Wow, congratulations to Massman. Then we take another look at this vicious move. And now he celebrates with his fans. Wow, deservingly so he overcame the odds here tonight. That's for sure. Wow, congratulations once again to Massman who just moments ago won his match over um, Only Lorcan. And now after what happened last week, last week Mandy Rhodes, the our NXT Women Champion, attacked Raquel Gonzalez before the match could even start with a title belt, I think. And now we have Raquel Gonzalez versus Mandy Rhodes set up once and once uh, again. This time hopefully we see a match, but. Ah no, I would I don't trust Mandy, you know. As there comes Raquel Gonzalez. Look at this. Former NXT Women's Champion. But from behind Mandy with a clothesline attacking Big Mommy Cool. Former NXT Women's Champion attacked by the current one. Who took the title from Raquel because of help from Raquel's former best friend, Tempe the enemy that could Kai. What a suplex! What a follow-away suplex! A follow-away slam there on the ramp there by Mandy. Where did she take the power from? And now tagging the legs. That's very smart by our NXT Women Champion. I have to say, it. you don't have to like it, but very smart there going for the legs of Raquel and tossing her around as well. Mandy with huge power. He tried to kick her, but no. That's okay. Ball now. Attack on the ambulance ramp here by Mandy Rose. But Raquel back to her feet. What a close line! Almost took Mandy's head off with that as Mandy tried to escape from her. Now showing her two colors. How cowardly she is. As Mandy now. One in the way, playing mind games perhaps with Raquel going inside the ring. Going to the outside as Raquel. I'm very, very angry as Mandy tried to escape Raquel. Get inside the ring. And on the outside. Swear match haven't even started. As Raquel celebrates with the crowd there. Eh? And Mandy on the apron there. Inside the ring. But here's a cheap shot wide. 
as so we've now finally started the match as Mandy talking trash to the opponent and the crowd mocking them. Magnesis with clothesline. Now Raquel using the anger and frustration about last week to advantage. Clothesline to the back of the head of Mandy Walls. And now Stomp as well. And a punch to the back of the head there of Mandy. As Raquel on 12 of this match. Raquel tried to fly. Can she hit it? From up there, oh no, she's gone, man, I'm waiting for Manny to get back up to her feet, try to fly with double accent, but Manny escapes it. Close into the back of that, Raquel with a painful landing, hopefully she's alright, maybe we need the doctor right now. And Mandy looking for gut wrench suplex, I don't know how she can even lift Raquel, but, you know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about that, but, huge power there, no, look at the punches there for Mandy. Against Raquel, Raquel laying down and out on the ropes there. As Mandy choking out with help of the ropes, I think. Drop kick to the back, painfully executed there by our, by our current champion. It's a former one. Kick to the back as well. Mandy kick to the midsection and chops as well to Raquel. Look how Mandy goes. Mandy got went suplex. It's on to the head as well. It's Mandy. Oh, chicken wing. Got Buster coming. Delivered. Perfectly executed. But Mandy leaves the ring. What has she in mind? Oh, she's looking for objects. Why? This is not another Q match. Or maybe it doesn't. She doesn't care about the match that much. Bringing a steel chair into the ring. Yeah, equalize on deep Byron. What a needle. Speaking about equalizers. <laughs> oh, Mandy and the takedown as well on Raquel. By the ref now. Goes away but get clotheslined anyway. As Mandy wants to use a chair on Raquel, but Raquel was ready with an elbow. That's how strong Raquel is. Just equalizes with her bare hands, with her bare elbow there. Huge swag as well there. Raquel kick to the midsection of Mandy. Looking for, looking for the gory special indeed, Corey. I can't even talk because the action. As Raquel tried to make Mandy tap, can she does it? And yeah, can Mandy ha does Mandy also tap out? I don't know, guys. But Mandy somehow hangs on here. Escapes. But what is this? What is this? Is the music of Dana Brooke, Mandy's former teammate? Causing some of, sort of distraction for Raquel as Mandy close them from behind. Raquel wasn't ready. And what a knee! We're projecting the chair, Mandy in the cover. Not like this. One, two, three. Oh, come on! The distraction by Dana Brooks' music got Mandy the victory. Oh, come on! With a vicious knee strike, whoa. There the chicken wing gut buster we see in the replay. The go is special and then came the distraction by Dana Brooks music. It was enough to distract we can't or I can't get Mandy the victory. Come on. It's Mandy now. Don't seem to be done with Raquel or the official. Close on to the official. It's Mandy. Not done with Raquel, she wants to finish Raquel once and for all, I think. What well, another knee. And finally the ref back to his feet, calling for some sort of medical stuff to check on Raquel. As the fans really upset about this as Mandy mocks them and Raquel, oh come on. But we are not done yet, we are so we focus on our next match. We are not done yet with the women's action here tonight after the yeah, Mandy stole the victory over Raquel because of Dana Brooks music hit, distracted Raquel, allowing Mandy to take advantage of her devastating knee strike to the in the to a, a successfully victory and after the match which is assault by Mandy Rhodes on Raquel. Hopefully Raquel is all, uh, all right uh, after gotten hit with another vicious knee strike after the bell. And now we have Amber Moon and Io Shirai versus 
Indy Hartwell, The Way's Indy Hartwell and Candice LeWay, of course, with the other members of The Way, Johnny Gagan and Austin Siri by their sides as well. And don't f and also um, don't forget, we don't have currently um, NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, so maybe any one of these those two teams can, uh, you know, say, hey, we won a tag team match. He, this we we want we want tag team match against the other team this past week so we want a title we want to be considered as uh, getting a title shot at pay per view or perhaps next week in the up following weeks you know what I'm saying <laughs> so the first of Ember Moon comes introducing first from Dallas Texas And my mind, Ember Moon, so we turn to NXT. Well, I, I'm happy that we have her here, but I think that she's not just one of the best women's wrestler we have uh, here in NXT, but also in the entire WWE. That's what I think. Same goes about Candice LeRae, in my opinion. So, it's just a sheen of. Yeah, she won both women's and women's tag title in NXT. Something tells me Ember's Raw is about to be served tonight. I'm hyped for this match, guys. I mean, look at the talents involved. Eh? Ember Moon, she is away against Cancel Away and then the hardware from the way. Uh, here huh? comes the evil genius of the sky. Yeah, genius, genius of the sky. And Io. Yeah, indeed, one of the most decorated. She's a former NXT woman, cha woman champion. Former NXT woman champion. Very well, impressive as Io Shirai. Very, very, very talented, very gifted high flyer. Same could be said about Emma Moon, perhaps. Even though she's not so much in the high flying this week, as despite from the Eclipse though. By Eo, Genius of the Sky of course, finishing a poem, like to finish opponents off with a moonsault on the top rope. So, you know, I'm saying, but now we're looking for the ways, entrance as a fan chanting NXT, NXT. The crowd of course will be behind Ember Moon and Eo Shawai on this one. As there comes the way. Johnny Gagano, Austin Siri, Candice LeRae, and Indy Hartwell. And Candice LeRae, the way! The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is Too bad that I don't have any four per persons and ones. Because normally Indy would be here and... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully they didn't mess up with the, the entrances. <laughs> I can't tell, you know, if that's white or not white because I never saw the entrance, sadly. Because I don't watch uh, WWE's wrestling or any wrestling. Last thing I really watched regularly was uh, Lucha Underground. Sad to say, but it is how it is, guys. Poison Pixie, Johnny Wrestling, and Austin Siri. And of course, we skip to Indy's heart with uh, Antoine's because, uh, yeah, it's unfitting to have a come alone because of 2K stupidity. Oh, okay, I can't switch. Well, okay, okay. It's Indy, what was the toss there on Amber Moon where Kens goes in, checking on her teammate. Eh? What a shot attack, a sheep shot from Candice on Io though, there, look, match it up and drop kick to the spine there, from Indy to Ember Moon here, what a close, what a flying forearm smash here from Indy, on Ember, and another one as well here, now Indy trying to drop the knee but Ember escapes, and Ember's with kicks and strikes, look at this, fired up she is there, DDT into the cover, uh, into the tag, uh, not the cover, <laughs> of course, close them from Indy, takes Io down and out of the ring there. 
But what a cheap shot on Ember Moon there from Andy. And a shoulder tackle as well. As Johnny taking a closer look on Ember Moon. Form smash from Andy to EO. Who are the legal combatants? What a reversal there from EO. As Candace now. What a knee from EO on the outside on Andy. Why Candace is there. Had to get involved on EO. What a close line. Of that we already need to take care of the vicious county. As Indy with a cheap shot on Amber. Of course, continue with his count with us at five already. By EO at six now for EO and Indy. Close line from Candace on e EO. Of that seven already, but the brawl continues on the outside. Jump suplex on Kens on Amber. Kick to the back from Indy on EO. With that nine already, we're looking at a double count out here. Yes, we do. It's a draw, double count out. We have no winner in this woman's tag match, sadly. Oh, come on. I would like, I was so hyped for it. Anyways, uh, we have still. Uh, we're still not done yet <laughs> Guys, this is our main event of the evening our NXT champion Tommaso Ciampa takes on the creature who takes him la had to attack him last week with the vicious assault with a steel chair and oh, Yeah So won't be easy for our for our NXT champion, but say might be said about the uh, Opponent here even though also the title it's Tommaso's title is not on the line here. It's more personal than that I mean Tommaso doesn't take uh, take anything like this kindly being attacked. Very dangerous man with his gold in his hand. But there's there's the Demon Senior attacking with close into the back of this uh, ba back of the head. But Tommaso has his entrance. But it's like last week. What a shim breaker. Oh, this time a down weather. Matt's on the way. Look at the power slam. A yeah, superhuman, of course, it's a death demon. It's a super uh, supernatural creature. And look at the look at the demonic ending on the tile on Tomasso's Goldie. And now lifting up in the air and got welcome back on us with a punch. That's very very dangerous combination of moves. The shim breaker again. And the demon using his demonic power. On this human prey, elbow drop. I don't, un I don't know if the match has even started. I don't think so. But senior, lifting him up and slamming him down. I think it is not nothing a champa has been before. I have to disagree with you, Corey. Uh, senior lifting him up yet again, like he's a just trash, like garbage, like and slam him down with ease. No problems whatsoever. Storms as well on Tommaso there. To the dislike of the crowd. The crowd cheering on Champa, of course. Until he's without a shadow of a doubt, one of the great support formers we have in the entire NXT history. But now he got decimated. He gets destroyed here tonight already. Slam after slam. And fully executed by the demonic creature. Who this was back the chan and the champion and the crowd perhaps as well. Or maybe he doesn't care about the crowd, I don't know. My senior. But what a reversal from Champa. Champa making it inside the ring. And he can't escape the creature. Oh reversal as a web call for the bad match finally on the way. As Champa with kicks to the mid section of this creature. But the creature just setting up a champa huge mistake to this creature that's him and who just makes its debut here tonight his debut i think will fall away slander and now look at this pop a punch there yet again to our champion lifting him up try to slam him champa with the ddt but the creature just picking up like nothing happened punches to champa Lifting him up. What a power slam. 
and what a splash with demonic intentions try to destroy Champa here tonight in our main event of the evening what a strike there from Champa and Champa ejecting the creature from the ring the demonic creature that is and now Champa targeting the legs that's really smart of our champion here Staying on the legs, always a good strategy, always a good reliable strategy. As Champa looking for Keen Chasa, he delivers. Even though it's not normally one of his moves, but we have said three already for Champa. What a shot there. And the creature, we have said four already. Counting out the demon as Champa made it back inside the ring and said, Come on, bring your fight on. And one more, come on, bring some. Oh, come on, can I? move already damn it that's at six already and yeah as champa ref has problems to contain him from attacking the demon again which lead to a close line and a big boot for champa why right, the demon i had to decimate him here but champa has still some fight left in him that's why he's a multi-time nxc champion one of the great nxc units so we taste of pain for the creature though you can't counter this move. As the demon will spawn with the power punch yet again. Demonic splash as well. Elbow drop. And he busts open Champa, I think. Lift him up and punch him down yet again. Champa haven't found an answer for that combination. Too much for the demonic splash either. Not much. What a big boot though. Maybe if continues find answers. One. But only one and a half as the demon kicks out there. As Champa drop kick to the back of the demonic creature's head. Who makes his debut here tonight? It's Demon Senior. What a reversal there. Look at this creature. Known as Demon Senior with a big punch in the deep call. Uh, in deep call. And another splash of demonic intentions. He's not you no know, human. And he never will be picking up Champa, picking up the pieces and try to toss him to the outside, but his back gave up on him. I never thought that demon would have a back, but maybe it's to case shenanigans, who knows? <laughs> After punch lifting Champa up, fall away slam, delivered into perfection, and now mocking Champa again. Close line. And now stomping him out there. The visas. And now. What a vice grip on Champa. What a claw, but he let go. He let go. Is this a sign of mercy? Or is this just to inflict more damage? I don't know what it is. I just mock him though for sure. I need to change the taunts of <laughs> not fitting some of the <laughs> for the money creature. What a counter there from Champa though. Or close line though. I don't know about that, Corey. But another reversal from our champion with a huge DDT yet again. Wow. But the demon surprising him with a dirty tactic. Are we evil? So dirty as it is, huh? And for an equalizer, a weapon. I mean, the ring got counted for, but he made, brings back a steel chair to the ring with him. And now, looking for a right hand on Champa. And double X handle for Champa. Drop kick to the official lands awkwardly, awkwardly against the chair there. Why the demon? Trying to use the chair on Champa who doesn't realize it. As he got hit, the ref done saw it. Ref now back to his feet. The demon gets rid of the evidence. Big boot for Champa. And a punch to the back of the head of him as well. Yet again. Elbow drop got reversed by Champa though. But not the STO. Or the demonic splash. Yeah, Champa indeed is in trouble. Why right, the demon attack the official? Lifting him up. What a power slam to our poor official. 
Well, just soon as job, but the team doesn't care. Using it as a, to the advantage with the church attacks on Champa. I can't disqualify them for it if you don't see it. Only for the attack on him, he could disqualify them perhaps. But they're not doing it just yet. What a shim breaker. Maybe the official is scared of this creature, and I, uh, who can blame them? I mean. It's a demon after all, what a shim breaker there. That's a demon mox champa there. Stomp to the leg, disrespectful. Close line again, the storms again by this creature. But the punch got reversed though. As Champa looking for a taste of pain yet again. It's the demon back to his fe feet. But Champa with a reversal though. For whatever this was so. Well then STO reversal there from Champa as the demon keeps keeping himself up though. It got him up and down. With a huge side slam, but Champa back to his feet as almost immediately, but got turned in outside, inside out perhaps with the German back suplex. Huh? What a German here. Yeah. And stomp to the leg as well. A senior tossing Champa to the apron. Shoulder tackle him down from her. Huh? It's unlike what we had last week's main event with a huge shocking victory for Clark and uh, Blue Falcon against our winning tag team champion Martel, but had Fabian Eichner from Imperium. What a running FTO from Senior there. What's that two, two coding out both man here? A Senior tossing Champ against the barricade. Times two, no? Champ will reverse this time. But Senior as well. A demon as well, lifting him up. What a choke slam! Wow, as Champa might be down and out. But the demon continues with this ambush on the outside, looking for a power bomb. No, his back gave up yet again. Another pop up punch. There's a whiff that takes already for both men. Looking for a choke. Toss! Oh my goodness! Hopefully Champa's alright after this. But the demon is making it back inside the ring though. Webs at 8 for Champa though. But I don't think Champa make it in time. I can see it where the we demon talking to the official said, said he's next with a choke slam. Or choke toss. So to speak as he tried to attack the official. Hit him with a right. Champa back inside the ring. Demon just realized it. Close into the back of that for Champa. Maybe he lured Champa in with the tag on the official. Or maybe not jump back suplex. I say, or maybe this creature like, wants to inflict mu much pain and punishment on everybody as possible. Everyone we can hit. Oh. As Champa reversal. So the demon flies over the ropes to the outside, so to speak. <laughs> as Champa bring him back inside the ring, that's why the crowd love him. As Champa. Back inside the wing, the creature closing him back, close lining him back out to the outside. Huh? It's just close, huh? Punch, punches from the from the creature, but Champa is such a fighter. He's fighting back against this demon creature. He says, "You're a demon. I don't care. I fight." As a demon lifting up our power bomb position yet again, power bomb on the outside. And there's no mat, so this more painful as a regular he is. But Champa is ready for the next move, he's quicker than this demon of course, but the demon is more powerful of course. Just to let you know, what a reversal there. This demon isn't experienced as much as Champa's of course. We have that fight for both of these two. Of course, as Champa was ready for the reversal there and attacking the lack of this demon yet again. We have that 6 already. Does Champa even want to get back into the ring or maybe he has enough of this demon as well. As we have that 7. Why right, demon clang all the ropes there, for some reason. There's a demon now, grab the fish again, tag him with a punch and sending him, crashing him, flying to the outside there. Why right, Champa, elbow to the demon. As Champa, look at this, go Champa, I rake I think. Here's enough of this demon, of this demonic creature, but what a headbutt there. 
Elbow drop as well. As Champa. But what a reversal there with an elbow as Champa tossing the demon into the steel steps here and the stomp to the arm as well. And of course, another one, and of course, to K Shenanigans happens as well. They, of course, rooting for Champa here because he's a human and not a demon. What a roll up, but Champa, you're stupid. It's uh, Champa acted stupid. Why you continue with the roll up there? It's not a false count anywhere match. You're so experienced, you should know better. Kick to the mid section, though, looking for taste of pain on the outside. The move no one can counter, not even a demon, because 2K doesn't want you to. So. Not even demon can counter this move, uh, that's the proof. <laughs> no human, no demon can counter this move. Whoever's at 7 already, is Champa don't trash to the demon. Whoever's at 8 already, and Champa, of course, doesn't want to win by count That's how Champa just is. He wants to win this match fair and square, unlike this creature, I think. As the creature trapping his leg and make him pay for this mistake with a power bomb. Paying for a stupid sportsmanship who likes sportsmanship, anyways. <laughs> It might get punished by the demon or maybe everybody get punished by him. A toss against his wall, against a barricade there. This Champa being the ref, the way of this demon. And gets sent back inside the ring. I will have to continue with the count on the demon there. I won't call, count him out to be honest. What a root of striking, what a stomp as well here. Close lining him as well. No try to get stomped, but nope. Champa was ready. Neckbreaker. Neckbreaker. Champa perhaps looking for fairy tale ending. But the demon counters it, I think. I think that's what happened. Into a power bomb. Wow. Wow, unique corner there. By this new karma, by this creature and stomping to every body part of Champa. And now try to pick him up and slam him down. So he does. The demonic ending for Champa, big splash. Maybe ending for Champa in the hospital after this match is done. The demon continues this. The demonic splash. But Champa is a fighter. This Champa kick to the midsection, but the demon retaliates, and the demon so powerful for Champa. Maybe for every human being. Demonic Splash hits again. Remove a big boot. And now Champa might be all demonic prey. Lifting him up. And for another vicious power bomb. And another one. But this time. On the chair. Yeah, like a whack doll indeed. As senior tossing him around with a choke, choke toss. Hopefully, Champa's all right. That's what a painful landing. And now senior looking for the claw. The claws in the money claw. As Champa, Champa's looking faded. Champa's knocked out cold. He lost it. He's knocked out. It was too much for him to overcome here tonight, even though Champa left the tough fight. But look at the choke toss, even though the cameraman should be fired by Vince McMahon after this poor oh, Triple H or whatever. What a wise script there. Uh. And the victory from the demon, but the demon, of course, isn't ready. But there's Simmonsy Satcher, Champa's teammate. The demon didn't realize, I think. But to get Champa clothesline, though. But there's Simmonsy Satcher trying to save his teammate. As the demon tried to get him though, but Satcher was ready though. Satcher was ready, but the demon reversal on Simpsons. Satcher looking for a shock toss and he delivers. Two for one here tonight. As the fans really upset about it, but the demon mocks him and Satcher and Champa as they both laying down and out by this creature here tonight. Wow. What an episode this was, hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I did and we see each other to the third episode as well.